your chicken dando, sir. Thank you. So it is. <laughs> it, hold on. It is five o'clock in the morning. We got up at 3:30 to meet our tuk-tuk driver who drove us all the way here to Anchor What. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Yes, we uh, drove about 20 minutes from our hotel to buy our tickets. Mm -hmm. There's only like five other people in there. And we're going to hurry up and go watch the sunrise over Anchor Wat. Just the complex leading up to the temple is huge. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're used to getting a lot of visitors. Yeah, definitely. And it's kind of cool because right now, off in the distance, we can hear crickets and frogs. And it's just very quiet and serene. Kind of like we have the whole place to ourselves. Yeah. Amazing. Also, there are a ton of people here. <laughs> we were like the first ones here, and then soon it's just like, mm -hmm. I can see why it's really popular though. Oh, definitely. I mean, you can't expect to be here alone, but I think wow. We were a little spoiled in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty cool sunrise. Mm -hmm. Tia was getting a little socially overwhelmed, so we're uh, leaving okay. the crowd. We've seen pictures. It and doesn't it's... look like that much of a crowd, actually. But there were, there's a lot of people, and there were, yeah. So, we're gonna move onwards and uh, check out Angkor Wat. It's like being in uh, Indiana Jones movie or something with mm. all the. Yeah, look, just every single direction you look. There's like these this. beautiful ruins, and of course. And, and that, right oh there. my gosh, you can't. Oh. couple quick things about Angkor Wat. It's a thousand years old. And it is the world's largest religious site. It's I think 400 acres, which is three times the Vatican City. It's just absolutely massive. Oh, and tickets for us, they were $37 each. So a little bit on the pricier side. It's actually the priciest attraction that we've paid to visit mm -hmm. this entire trip. Uh, that being said, the second priciest was the Statue of David, and I think you get a little more for your money at this one. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. We're about to enter the main temple here. They just let you walk on it. I know, look at this. Just stepping on everything, it's insane. Just a thousand years worth of history. So many possibilities. <laughs> I think these big things used to be pools. Here you can see a drain right in the corner, in the far, far corner. So these big stones behind us are sandstone. They come from a mountain 30 miles away. And I think each one weighs about 3,000 pounds, which is just... <laughs> I can't even imagine. Also, from our tour guide... Google. <laughs> the government is trying to put stones back into the, the pyramid. So you can see on the corners here that they're trying to fit them together. Where they belong, I guess. Yeah. These are some really steep steps up here. How are you doing? Doing good. <laughs> to is probably. <laughs> A couple more Anchor Wad facts. <laughs> took 35 years to construct and took um, about 300,000 laborers to build. And 6,000 elephants. That's just like... I can't even imagine the scale of that. Also, don't be this guy. Don't be that guy. So 
this really gives you an idea of just how big this complex is. You can just see miles into the distance. That gate way back there is where we walked through this morning, and we didn't know because it was so dark. <laughs> this place is huge. You ready? No. Do you want me to go first? That is easily one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my life. That was just absolutely amazing. I mean, just oh look my. at that. And it's so picturesque. Every single angle we took, it just felt like it was just so... You can tell, I mean, they do let people walk over everything, but there's mm -hmm. also a lot of evidence of construction and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think they do put a lot of effort into maintaining it and keeping it as pristine as possible. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for some coffee. Yes, it is incredibly hot here. It really is. We were not, we thought it'd be similar to Thailand, but it's actually much hotter much, here. Much, much hotter than Thailand. You cooling off? They pointed both giant fans towards me to see how hot I was getting. <laughs> Breakfast was good. We had some cold coffee, feeling better. Yeah, I'm feeling much more awake and ready to attack this day. <laughs> that being said, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> so apparently the tuk-tuk tour that we purchased with our hotel mm -hmm. includes uh, a few different um, temples. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go find our guide in the parking lot and yep. uh, see what's next. Yeah. going to a temple complex called Bayom and apparently it's even bigger than Angkor Wat like the whole I don't think that the towers and stuff are as big but the whole complex is takes up a larger piece of land I So our guide, Sopal, uh, he dropped us off at this bridge. The southern gate of the Anchor Tom complex. And this bridge is absolutely just, it's insane. Yeah, every single statue here has an individually carved face and they're all holding like a serpent or something. Look at this river! It's just, just, well you can't really, it's a car. This way. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty uh, accurate. I look just like him. <laughs> that's true of space where he has coffee. Okay. <laughs> Here. We are at Anchor Tom Bailon Temple. Uh, so this was the last capital of the Khmer Empire. Mm -hmm. And it translates to the Great City. The Great City. You can definitely see why. It's not as big as Angkor Wat, but I think this area is a lot more spread out. Like it, like I said before, it covers a lot more ground. Mm -hmm. And there is a uh, there's quite a few people here. They're a like, lot better dressed than we are. They are much better dressed than we are doing very cool looking photo ops. Yeah. Alright, you want to explore? Yeah.
One of my favorite parts of these temples is seeing the steps leading in and out and how worn down they are after hundreds of years of just thousands of people walking across it. It makes me feel really humble to be part of it too. <laughs> well said. <laughs> keep saying it but it's just so cool that you can walk through all of this I know in like 10 years you won't be able to but this is them? really oh wow there's so many bats oh my god can you hear that I guess I should close my mouth time and effort that's got to go into making buildings like this is unfathomable and it's really neat that instead of having these giant stones that they carve it looks like these little individual stone blocks that they fit together and then carve and they're perfectly fit together in a lot of cases and we say little stones but these probably weigh over a ton each <laughs> like they're still they're still huge <laughs> thoughts on that one i really liked how it felt more condensed while you were inside of it it kind of just felt like a maze, it was really uh -huh. cool. Yeah, in some ways I liked it more than Angkor Wat for that reason. It just felt like you're exploring like these, this twisting Wait. hallways of an ancient temple. Yeah, and there's vines growing everywhere, and spider webs, and bats. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bats. The whole time we were in there, you could just hear them. After like two hours of walking around, we're on our way to the last temple, and we're really excited for this one. Some of you may recognize it from the Tomb Raider. Also, we got some cold water. Uh, it is very hot today, around 90 degrees with 90% humidity and just direct sunshine. So. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> There's our guy driving away back there. And he just dropped us off at Toprom. Our final temple today, and the one that is made famous by the Tomb Raider films. Yeah. I never actually saw those movies. Neither did I. <laughs> but maybe we will after this. Um, also, the bugs here are insanely loud. You have to yell just to hear yourself. So Toprom Temple definitely has a more of a like a decaying ruin feel to it than mm -hmm. the other ones did. Yeah, look at this giant pile of rubble. Yeah. A lot of more things are like leaning to the side and it just seems like they're it has hasn't been as well preserved mm -hmm. as some of the other ones. Yeah, there's moss growing on all these rocks and it's is it raining? Yeah, it just rains in this temple though. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Wow, it is amazing how well preserved that wooden bridge is, though. <laughs> this stuff is all over the place. It is, it's so cool. Oh yeah, that's just growing on top of the stone wall there. You can see that's in the act of lifting these stones up and over. Yeah, it's so flipping cool. Ah! All right, here we go. Incredible. They had to have metal reinforcements for how big this tree root was getting. Oh my gosh, it's huge! It should be up for scale. It's a chunker. <laughs> it is a chunker. 
There's this very dark hallway so that's sort of creepy. Yeah, that with the sound of the bugs like buzzing, it is like... There's an interesting vibe here. Yeah, a little eerie at times. What did you think of that? That felt like we were walking through like a, like a video game or something. Yeah, I've never seen anything quite like that before. Mm -mm. It's uh, it really definitely feels like an ancient temple. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tomb Raider. That's a good way to yeah. <laughs> or Indiana Jones, you know. Which one was your favorite of all the places that we went to? I think this one. I think this one was the most mm -hmm. immersive. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're tipping over tree roots and you know old bricks and stuff. I think this one was my favorite, but Angkor Wat is still hands down the most impressive in terms of size and scale and everything. Yeah, it's most iconic as well. Yeah. Uh, it's about a million degrees here, <laughs> so we're just gonna take the rest of the day off and cool off. Mm -hmm. Thanks you guys so much for coming along with us today, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm. Subscribe! So we're gonna go try some... Bleh. So we're gonna... Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. What do you think you're doing? I just took that Or did shot. you? You goofball. Well, I'm taking one better.